The Broncos. Yeah. According to reports, they're right. signing former Raiders quarterback uh-huh. Jarrett Stidham to uh-huh. a two-year deal. Now, he was a guy that, I mean, you know Josh McDaniels very well. Yeah. It seemed like Josh really liked Jarrett Stidham, and that was the reason they benched Derek Carr the last couple of weeks of the regular season to see what they had in Jarrett Stidham, and he was pretty good. Well, I'm uh, Played okay. D- it might be the shocking signing so far that I've seen here. The one that made my eyes pop the most was that one you just explained. You know, one, the Raiders don't have a quarterback on the roster now. They got nobody. Jared Stidham wasn't on the roster either, but I, I think they were expecting to get him back. Get him back. Hey, if we draft a young, raw quarterback or something like that, Stidham could hold it down for a little bit. Yeah. I'll be excited. I was way off on my TJ Edwards proclamation for yeah. the contract. All yeah. right. This you get, one, you get a second chance. I get him a second chance, a yeah. second swing here, where I bet you they signed him for big backup money. What would that be? I am, I'm I'm going to guess closer to like you know I'm going to say eight to ten million maybe somewhere in that range seven, you know I I would I would think it's something substantial for him to leave a comfort zone and a spot where he goes wait I know this coach likes me yeah you know they've been they've been invested in me the, that's pretty amazing and and I'm not shocked to see Sean Payton do it either I'm not you know again he's he's protecting himself. He's seen that guy. He knows he knows how to work a system. Stidham's better than people realize. Mm-hmm. And if Russell gets hurt or doesn't play well, he's not going to leverage the farm all on one guy. Always had good backups with the New Orleans Saints. Go check it out. Backups would come in and play for New Orleans and throw for 300 yards and three touchdowns. Not quite be like Drew Brees, but it wouldn't be far off it. Another thing they did, what was the other thing I said they would do to start free agency? Mm, I don't remember. You don't why. remember? Well, uh, no, what an I, asshole. Hold, give me you a don't second listen here. to every word I say? Well, if this wasn't live, we would edit it in. But, oh, um, okay. Not, not my, uh, <laughs> the, the cloak of, uh, of secrecy well, is gone. When Sean Payton yeah. like, got the job, yeah. One of the things I was constantly saying, I will be shocked that the first move we don't see them make is get a big offensive lineman. Mm. That's where they're going to go. It's a small quarterback in Russell Wilson. He watches the rush too much. The first thing you do to make him feel confident is, hey, don't worry about this. I got this worked out up here. Don't worry. Coaches, O-line coach, we got you blocked. Listen to what I'm saying in coverages. That will yeah. be part of the rebuilding of his confidence, right? Yep. You remember now? Protect him first. They protect him yep. first. It may make him feel like, okay, I don't need to scramble around and look for the, exactly. look for the escape plan exactly. right Exactly. Right, right. And then as we know with small quarterbacks, a lot of times they have a hard time seeing over the middle. Sure. Well, you got big guards and a big center like Drew Brees did in New Orleans and makes it easier because it keeps people away. It gives them some room to see. Yeah. So I was not shocked. Big Ben Powers from the Baltimore Ravens. And, Four-year deal. Then they only get gigantic yeah. linemen in Baltimore. But Sean Payton's that way, too. He's from the Bill Parcells School of Coaching. So I wasn't shocked to see that move go down. Two years, $10 million? Is that what I'm hearing on Jarrett Stidham? Okay. Pete, two All years, right. $10 so million. I said so. seven, so I'm, I'm high yeah. so far. I'm, Daniel, I'm, I'm, Daniel <laughs> Sauter goes Sims 0 for 2 so far. But <laughs> you're on the player's side here. You've always been on the player's side, I right? Am. I am really, should get really more. actually surprised Edwards didn't get more than that in the market, on the open market. I was definitely a little high on the – the uh, the J- Jared Sidham thing to the point where close. Though. I also w- I want to sit here and go, damn. I mean, they didn't want to give him two years, five million, and uh, with the Raiders, or maybe he just said, you know what, I want to try something new and go somewhere else. I don't know, but that's a good signing by the Denver Broncos, and yeah. I'm sure the Raiders are disappointed by that. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.